hello everyone so today i'm going to show you how to do a ddos attack from one virtual machine to another so for this ddos attack we are going to use uh, something called hpin3 hpin3 is uh, normally installed pre-installed in kali linux systems or if it is not installed i will show you how to install it and how to do a simple ddos attack from one virtual machine to another so let's start with it so first of all what we want to do is we want to open up our vmware workstation so on VMware what we're going to do we're first going to boot into Kali Linux and then we're going to boot into uh, our Windows 11 so let's just first into Windows 11 and let's power it on and in the meantime we're also going to open the virtual machine uh, Kali Linux so okay so let's open up Kali Linux too Okay, let's power it on. So Windows is booting up. Normally on virtual machines it takes uh, a little while for the operating system to boot up but let's just hang in for a while and see uh, and let's see how we're going to do the attack okay so I'm going to write in my password and just log into it and the windows is also turned on so let's log into windows Okay, so for in now in the windows what we're going to do is we're going to check uh, open up a terminal uh, and see the IP of our windows okay and how we're going to see is IP config okay and the IP of our system is 192.168.124.130 okay so what we're going to do is we're going to perform the attack on this IP, okay? So let's just go to the Kali Linux machine. Okay, sorry, wrong password. Okay, I was not typing in the I, sorry. Okay, so it has locked in now. Okay, so now we know the IP of our Windows system. So now what we're going to do is we're going to perform a sin flood attack. Okay, so how we're going to perform the sin flood attack is what we're going to do. We're going to type in this command that I'm going to show you okay so what we're going to do is uh, okay but first let me show you how to install hping3 okay so if hping3 is installed you're just going to type in hping3 and it should be recognized but if you have not installed hping3 then what you can just do it do a sudo apt install sorry hping3 okay sorry i wrote an extra i okay so mine is previously installed so it's saying that it's already installed so but if yours is not installed you can just do a sudo apt install hping3 and it will install perfectly so now let's type in the command for our ddos attack hping3 uh, sorry, but first you have to be a you have to have a root access. So I'm just going to type in sudo su. This will take me into root, and just I'm just going to type hping3, 
and I'm going to put in some commands and one of the commands is man minus minus flood minus 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 flood okay and then the command would be minus s minus s this suggests that it's a sin flood attack okay and then what we're going to do is write minus v and then we're just going to write the ip of our system okay the ip of our system is 192.168 let's check the ip uh 192.168.124 and 130 0.124 and 0.130 okay so now if i enter it should start the hping 3 attack okay so but let's see if the attack is actually happening or not so what we're going to do is right click on our windows here and see the task manager so if i go to the task manager and see this okay okay so the attack is happening i am receiving about 15.6 or so 15.7 mb of uh, uh traffic on my windows system so one thing that i do want to show you is that windows normally doesn't really allow the hping attack so what for what for that what you have to do is that you have to go to the uh settings of your uh what i have done is i have added a rule to the uh, so now sorry but let me just rephrase myself what i have done is that i have added a rule to my windows which allows for incoming to tcp attack uh, tcp traffic okay normally windows doesn't allow tcp traffic to come in okay but what that you have to do is you have to add a rule in firewall okay so but in a real life scenario let's say you have a website and you want to attack that you do a ddos attack on that website that ddos uh, that website will be hosted on a system and that system will have some sort of open port attached to it okay uh, obviously mm, that's how basically hosting works so uh, in that case then there will be an open port and you will be able to attack that port or uh, attack that ip okay but uh, normally windows doesn't have so yeah so this is the thing and one other thing that you can do to the do the attack is just disable the windows firewall and it will show you that an act active attack is happening okay so thanks for watching this video and take care. Bye bye.